Are you sure your next urinary tract infection isn't already sitting in your shopping cart? Welcome to Dr. Mercola's Cellular Wisdom. Stay informed with quick, easy to listen summaries of our latest articles, perfect for when you're on the go. No reading required. Subscribe for free at Mercola.com for the latest health insights. Hello, and welcome to Dr. Mercola's Cellular Wisdom. I'm Ethan Foster, and today we're examining evidence that a large share of UTIs are traced to contaminated meat, especially poultry. You'll hear what researchers found, why antibiotic use in industrial farming matters to you, and the concrete steps you can take to lower your risk. I'm Alara Skye, and we'll walk through the data in clear terms. UTIs affect more than 404 million people each year. New analysis of over 36,000 Escherichia coli samples collected in Southern California shows that nearly 18% of UTIs were caused by bacteria that originated in food animals. That means almost one in five infections likely began with what you brought home from the store. The strains most often implicated are extraintestinal pathogenic E. coli, or XPEC. These are not typical gut-only microbes. They carry virulence factors that help them survive processing and cooking, then colonize your urinary tract. Once established, they can climb from the urethra to the bladder and, in severe cases, enter the bloodstream. That pathway turns a common infection into a dangerous one, requiring aggressive care. Poultry was the primary reservoir for these infections. Chicken and turkey accounted for more than 74% of meat-linked UTI cases. Contamination levels across retail meats were high. Researchers reported rates as high as 82% in turkey and 58% in chicken, with pork at 54% and beef at 47%. While pork and beef carried substantial contamination, the poultry strains appeared better adapted to cause human infection. Genetic fingerprints made the animal-to-human link clear. Sequencing revealed mobile genetic elements in UATI causing strains that matched those circulating in livestock. The direction of flow was one way. Nearly one in five human UTI genomes bore animal signatures, while fewer than 1% of meat samples showed any human-related markers. This challenges the assumption that UTIS primarily arise from your own gut flora. Risk wasn't distributed evenly. Women made up nearly 90% of the cases, with a median age of 50, and were more than twice as likely as men to contract these zoonotic infections. Older men, often in their 70s, also appeared vulnerable. Hormonal, anatomical, and immune factors likely increase susceptibility making your urinary tract an easier target as these variables shift with age. Socioeconomic conditions amplified the problem. Living in higher poverty areas increased the odds of a meat-linked UTI by about 1.6 times. Contributing factors included lower food safety standards and budget retail settings, longer meat storage times, and limited access to clean cooking facilities. This means your environment can compound your risk even when personal hygiene is consistent. Antibiotic resistance is central to why this matters. Many strains in both meat and human samples resisted commonly used drugs like ampicillin and tetracycline, and some were resistant to multiple classes. Those resistance patterns mirror the routine antibiotic use in concentrated animal feeding operations. When infections don't respond to first-line treatments, hospitalization and stronger medications become more likely. The underlying cause is clear. Industrial farming practices. CAFOs pack thousands of animals into confined, unsanitary spaces. Routine antibiotics promote the survival of tougher, more adaptable bacteria. When that meat reaches your kitchen, exposure continues. Cooking reduces risk, but does not erase it if handling and cross-contamination occur. Over time, this creates a pipeline from farm to clinic. Policy shifts can help. After California's Senate bill, 27 limited antibiotic use in livestock, resistance to certain drugs, including tetracyclines, declined in both meat and clinical samples. That shows how upstream changes in agriculture can produce measurable downstream benefits for your health. Reducing antibiotic pressure at the source makes infections easier to treat when they occur. You can act immediately. First, remove CAFO meat from your diet. Choose grass-fed and regeneratively raised beef. If you still eat chicken or pork, select only organic and pasture-raised sources. However, 
Avoiding chicken and pork entirely is advised due to higher bacterial loads and their high linoleic acid content, which fuels inflammation and damages your mitochondria. Your plate is the front line of prevention. Second, support urinary health with targeted tools. Pharmaceutical-grade methylene blue concentrates in the bladder and can kill harmful bacteria without disrupting your microbiome. For most adults, the dose is one 65-milligram tablet three times a day with water after meals, taken for only a few days. Pair this with whole cranberries or organic, unsweetened cranberry juice to help keep bacteria from adhering to your urinary tract, and consider demon nose for additional support. Third, upgrade kitchen hygiene. Wash hands before and after handling raw meat. Keep separate cutting boards and knives for meat and produce. Disinfect counters with hot water, soap, and vinegar. Don't forget reusable shopping bags. Wash them regularly because meat packaging often leaks. These small steps block the path from your countertop to your urinary tract. Fourth, clean up personal habits that let microbes travel. Always wipe front to back. Consider using a bidet for a more thorough clean, especially if you're prone to recurrent infections or are caring for someone else. Choose showers over baths and ensure both partners wash before sexual activity. These practices reduce bacterial migration at the most common entry points. Fifth, raise your resistance daily. Hydrate so your urine stays clear to pale yellow. Limit processed foods that feed harmful bacteria. Get daily sunlight to support mitochondrial energy and immune function. Reduce stress so your defenses stay responsive. A stronger internal environment makes it harder for pathogens to take hold, even if exposure occurs. If you're wondering whether your last UTI started in the kitchen, the answer may be yes. The evidence shows that contaminated meat, especially chicken and turkey, plays a major role. When you choose cleanly raised foods, handle them carefully, and support your urinary defenses, you reduce risk at every step from farm to bladder. Here's your challenge. For the next four weeks, eliminate CAFO meats and replace them with grass-fed, regeneratively raised beef. At the same time, implement strict kitchen hygiene and, if you feel early UTI symptoms, use unsweetened cranberry products or Demonos promptly as outlined. Track any changes in urinary comfort and frequency. Thank you for watching Dr. Mercola's Cellular Wisdom. We'll see you on the next episode. Thanks for watching. Subscribe now and click the notification bell so you never miss an update. See you in the next video.